what is going on everybody welcome back thank you for joining me again today's video i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to explain like the difference in the in the maturity of animals we're also gonna try to look at their antlers and determine if they're low fitness or not sounds kind of dumb you can just kind of look through your binoculars and be like oh it's mature but there's there's a different stages to the matures and also with talking about the antlers you can look at the antlers and see if they're low fitness or not i'll i'll It'll make sense in a little bit. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is going to be kind of a short video. We'll see how things go. Let's see if the we'll see if the game is good to me or not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. I guess I'm just kind of contradicting myself cuz you could just get on the caller and, you know, blow the low fitness or high fitness call and see what comes in. But um maybe sometimes you don't have a caller, you know? Sometimes you you only got elk, predator and moose caller and you see some deer and you're like Damn it. How am I supposed to know if it's low fitness or not? Well, I'm gonna show you. I right, see that guy? Low fi- This is all your fault. <laughs> Alright, back to what I was saying. So, alright, we got some mule deer here. That guy right there. You can already tell he's high fitness. You gotta look at his antlers. See how symmetrical they are? And I'm gonna say he's he's gonna be mature, but he's not gonna be old mature, if that makes sense. You see that there right there, how white she is? An old mature animal will be pretty white. Like this guy up here, he's gonna be high fitness as well. You just gotta look at the antlers. Again, if they're symmetrical, then they're normally high fitness. And if they're not, that tells you they're low fitness. And if you can't really tell, then, you know, take the shot if you want to. That's up to you. Okay, turns out he's a four star. That's good news. And there is an adult. What's this guy back here? Definitely not a female. Two star mature. See now, he is still in his first mature stage. His next mature stage, he'll probably become a three or a four star. I'm terrible at explaining stuff, but that's basically what all it is to determining what deer to shoot, what they kind of are. And the more you play the game, the easier it gets. So for now, I think we're going to take that guy. Something I'd like to add. Since he's an adult, you see how brown his uh, his coat is? It's like people. The older, the older we get, the more gray our hair gets. And since he's an adult and his antlers are symmetrical, that'll tell you that he'll become a pretty nice 5-star. Or 4-star. It also helps if there's a high-fitness 4-star in the herd. Because it passes its genes throughout the herd. If that makes sense. All right, where'd that two star go? Yeah, she is super, super gray. That's pretty sight. Nice and symmetrical. That's what you want to look for. Or you could just get tired of waiting for this guy to get out of the damn trees and pull out your collar. That was nice of her to lay down so I could shoot this guy. I hope this was the right deer. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, there he is. Two star mature. Trophy 308. Nice and symmetrical. Here is another good, really good example. So that second deer in line there, that is an adult. Now if you see a deer, or even a moose, I don't know. The moose I have a hard time trying to figure out for this type of situation. But that's an adult, and his antlers almost look like a young deer's. And that right there will tell you that that adult is low fitness. There's a mature right there. We'll we'll take this adult so I can I can show you also the color difference. And you see how his right antlers messed up? I have a feeling this guy is gonna be super low fitness. Sorry, I had to make an example out of you, pal. Alrighty, look at his antlers. Yeah, that's 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 a no go. If you're like me, you want your herds to be grade A pristine. Thirty percent, one star. Trophy rating, trash. Western moose. Oh, I forgot they changed that. Western moose. It's a nice little touch. Hey man, what are you going hunting for today? Western moose. Not just moose. Ah. Western moose. Now the moose I have a little bit more trouble identifying. Unless, you know, it's blatantly obvious that one of his antlers are messed up. 
but so far, he looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to see if my prediction's right. I'm going to get on the call, low fitness call, and see if he comes in. Well, I guess my judgment was spot on. I got on the low fitness call. He ain't coming in. So that means we are going to wait on him to grow up and be an older gentleman. So glad they buffed the sound cues. I think I said it in my last video, but it's nice they buffed it. Because I was, honestly, I was kind of tired of just walking around for forever and not seeing anything, not hearing anything. Ah, uh, we got this mature coming in. Shush. Now for this fella, yes, he is symmetrical, but he should be bigger than that, being a mature. Similar to the adult we just took. He should be bigger than what he was being an adult. Again, the more you play the game, the easier identifying animals is. Wowzers, look at that. Blood on the tree. That's cool. Alright, yep. 37% one star. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, he should be definitely bigger than that being a mature... I like the little kicker there. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess in all reality, he does look messed up. But that's kind of hard to see from afar. Now, when it comes to bear, fox, and wolves, good luck. My best advice is just use, use a collar or use the binoculars. I've, like, studied the bear. Just stared at it to try to see the difference between, like, a young one and a mature one. And I could not see a difference. There might be a little bit of difference, but I couldn't. Especially if you're out hunting and you see a bear. It's like... You can't really tell. Although, in, w in one of my previous videos, I did see a four-star fox that I wasn't able to get. But anyway, and he was super close to me. And, and you could tell he had more white on him. I think around, like, his face. But if... I mean, you're, if you're looking from afar, you're not going to be able to tell, really. Elk, pretty much the same thing. Just look at their antlers. Look at their fur. There's a two-star mature. The mountain goats, honestly, I just pick, I just look at the biggest one in the herd and let the animal analysis up at the top right corner just tell me what I need to know. The bighorn sheep are, you can kind of depict on them. The matures, their their antlers, everyone's seen a bighorn ram. Their antlers curl back. The further they curl back, hence the longer they are, the more mature the animal is going to be. This isn't really a good example. I can't see no antlers. There's a nice two-star coming in. So he looks damn good. Super good. But he should be bigger than that. If he was like a four-star. I mean, he looks damn good. Again, just use the binoculars. Let him tell you what you need to know. I think that basically covers... Oh my. There's another good example. Even though he's young. Look at his antlers. Ew. Even that guy looks wonky. He does too a little bit. I think that basically covers everything guys. Um, again. I'm terrible at explaining things. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Just let me know down in the comments. little bit of a shorter video than I normally do. There's only so much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? With all that being said, I appreciate all the love and support y'all have been giving me. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, which is freaking awesome. And as always, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.